Hello guys and welcome once again into another lap time challenge video and today we got Circuit de Spa Francochamp in, well, it's not in any kind of group, it's with the Alpha 4C. It's a, it's a road car and right now the lap time is 238.1. I really tried it, I gave it everything and you can see that I got a 239.3 and it's 0.74% off the world lead and right now you need just about four seconds off the lead, four and a half seconds off the lead to actually get the gold medal, which I don't think it's really that difficult. So at 242, even if it's 0.5, I don't think it's going to be that difficult to reach. So let me just show you and explain you why this lap time challenge is, well, it's kind of an exploit rather than, you know, the usual stuff that we get. Quickly having a little look at what Hole did. He's usually really, really fast, so... I mean, not, not really need to explain who he is or anything like that, but I do short shift a little bit. I don't think he is really doing it here, but just make sure that you check this out. Look at the downshifts. Downshifts are very aggressive and yeah, I guess this is an exploit. So downshifting slows down the car even more than it actually should. It's kind of a bug in the system, I guess. And I'm not exactly sure when are they going to fix this, but you're actually slowing down much, much more if you just downshift aggressively. So a little lift before Eau Rouge, and I'm just gonna quickly skip to this point where you can once again see the difference. So 100 is the breaking point. Look at the downshifting again, very, very early downshifting, and the car just stops. So if you try to downshift in a normal way, like normal cars would, you won't be able to brake as late as the 100. So here, once again, look at the downshifting again. Here, not as much because the car rotates uh, too much if you just, you know, if you if you downshift too quickly. Here, fourth gear, fourth gear quickly, and then fourth once again on the way out. So make sure that you upshift before you start accelerating. That's crucial. Here, once again, as you can see, this downshifting is really helping with the rotation. But in the end, too much rotation is not good. It's like, it's okay, but it's not actually great. Fourth, revving it up, don't upshift into fifth. Third gear, but once again, he's just getting so much engine braking with all of this. Like third, fourth gear on the way out. That's good, that's good, that's good. But I will stop it right here. You can see how much rotation, but the crucial point is not to touch these cones in any kind of corners. If you touch the cones, your lap time will be invalidated. So make sure that you don't touch them. So third gear on the way out, rev it up third, fourth, just a little lift. And once again, this is, it's easy to touch this little cone right here, but just try to avoid it. Fourth gear on the way out. That's good. Okay. This corner is quite, <laughs> it's quite interesting use the whole track limits track limits do not exist track limits do not exist okay we're reaching the 150 that's the breaking point but just once again look at the downshifts the engine is about to explode but it does work second gear third gear on the way out and you will get a very low 38 if you can replicate something like this i will say that it's difficult but in the end, if you use the engine exploit, it could be done. So I'm just going to show you what I did and I'm just going to explain all of the things that I did in my lap. So let's go. Okay, guys, and let's get going with the track guide. So first one and the first breaking point is the 100. But I do have to say the downshifting really helps with this one. So you have to aggressively once again downshift into second gear, second gear is kind of helping you to rotate the car so make sure that you brake turn and downshift at the same time and then quickly upshift when you reach the apex this once again will help you to kind of rotate the car a little bit better and on top of that you can start accelerating really really quick usually it's at the beginning of the curb this car once again can be you know quite tricky in some of the turns especially this one so it's fifth gear and then just a little lift and make sure that you grab the inside of this curb even when the car kind of lifts off it's not a problem because this car it's as i said before it's kind of sketchy in some of the turns but usually it is very very stable so here 
as we go into the next one this is once again a 100 but i do have to suggest once again you have the downshift but this time it's going to be less aggressive otherwise the car will start to slide and you will most likely lose control so a little bit less aggressive and do not touch those cones on the right so you make you kind of can go a little bit closer to the apex but my suggestion is just try to avoid the cones and use a little bit of that curbing but not too much as i'm doing right here so quickly up shifting into forward gear using a bit of that curb on the right but not too much so this will kind of help you to rotate the car but again you're not going to get an invalidated lap time so here curb once again break in the straight line but this isn't supposed to be that aggressive you can see that my car started to slide a little bit too much although i kind of I kind of got the rotation as I wanted to, but um, I think I got a little bit more rotation than it's actually needed for a good lap time. So you can try kind of to stabilize the car as much as you can before this point. So it is difficult, but I do suggest getting the brakes at about 30-40% and then quickly upshifting into Ford gear. This seems to stabilize the car, so it's not like a proper solution but if you can get the brakes to work up to 50 percent and upshift into forward the car should be as stable as possible so here this is the 50 or you can use the reference on the right whichever way you go it's okay then once again we need to use the downshifting to rotate the car and once again upshifting into fourth gear to just accelerate a little bit sooner um you can start accelerating in third but i'm not exactly sure if it's going to give you that great acceleration like in fourth gear so it's kind of tricky but you know eventually when you get used to it it's okay so here the shadow once again i do recommend downshifting into third as quickly as you possibly can but then again the car might rotate too much so i do suggest breaking the straight line and then just trail breaking a little bit you will notice that the car might slide a little bit too much just a little tap here before this end and then once again shifting or up shifting into fourth gear this seems to help quite a lot and this one i made a little mistake right here and you can probably notice it i started downshifting and rotating the car too quickly so my turning went in too quickly in there so i just want to break more in the straight line and then accelerate so this is kind of kind of to get away uh, with all of this thing so no i would say a little bit upshifting can work out but recommended is usually the third gear here you can see that the shadow i'm usually using the shadow just to start turning in and once again we need to go over the grass right there or you can touch the curb if you don't touch the curb right there your car will eventually just lose uh, just lose a lot of time so it needs to touch the curb so here 150 break in the straight line and this is where i'm aggressively downshifting into second gear and then quickly i will upshift into third but you might stay in second here this is where i made this little mistake stay in second i think you can stay in second for a little bit longer and then i upshifted into third so just a little tap on the brakes before the last corner and then third gear it was so it's I believe a decent lap time and i hope that it's going to help you and yes guys p13 on the leaderboard and as i said before i tried really explaining everything as much as i could and we are trying to get up to 35,000 subs by the end of the year we are really really close there like a hundred uh, like a hundred a hundred and a little bit more subs to go so guys i would really appreciate if you can reach that goal by the end of the year so once again thank you very much for you know just for watching the video and supporting me in 2023 so guys once again thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the week so until the next time bye